Hi there! In this video I'm gonna give you a few tips about choosing between a standard road crankset and a compact one, or maybe something in between. Uh, let's begin uh, with uh, saying what a standard and compact means. It's all about the size uh, of, uh, of the chain rings you have or the number of the teeth. In the standard version, maybe you can see it here, we've got 53 teeth on the larger chain ring and 39 on the smaller one. So it's 53 by 39 and this would be a choice of most of the pro cyclists for most of the races uh, that would go for, for this set. What about a compact uh, crank set? Here we've got a compact road crank set in this uh, Trek 1.2 so we've got here 50 teeth by 34 teeth. Again, we had 53 by 39 here. And here we have three teeth less on the larger chain ring and even five teeth less on the smaller one. So which one uh, should you choose? Uh, if you are not a pro cyclist, maybe you would like to go for a standard uh, crank set that will uh, let you go very fast on your bike. Uh, if you're really strong, uh, you are not maybe living and cycling in very very hilly terrain and you are hitting like very very steep hills or a wind, I would consider that um, as well. And also if you are often training with a lot of guys where you are just riding in peloton because the peloton can go much much faster than you yourself uh, on your lonely uh, rides. If you still don't know which one to choose, you can think about something in between and, and I've got this crank set in my Canada Cat 10. This I would call this um, semi-compact, uh, it's 52 by 36. So it would have two teeth more than a compact one and one teeth less than a standard one uh, on a larger cog. And then it would have three teeth less uh, on the smaller one than a standard one but two teeth more than a compact one. So it is something uh, in between and I would really recommend if you buy like your first uh, road bike to think about a compact uh, version. If you train a lot but uh, you are training uh, like doing lonely rides, this is myself uh, for example, I would maybe think about a semi-compact. I have to tell you I am thinking about going back to compact um, set because um, I don't train often in a huge peloton. Uh, it, it is uh, most of the time just uh, lonely rides and lo lonely training sessions for me. And I'm using uh, the road bike um, a lot during the winter on my turbo trainer. It's, it's not often for me to use these uh, like 11, 12 or, or even 13 uh, teeth uh, uh, cock um, on the rear cassette. So if I had 50 teeth on the larger uh, chain ring in the front, I would be using my whole uh, cassette uh, much better this would be much comfortable for me because I'm working on high cadence and I really recommend uh, training that high cadence. Uh, then really a compact set I think would, be, would fit even better for me. Uh, I'm racing in uh, cross country, so I'm racing on my mountain bike and the road bike I'm using just for training and alone. So I think compact version or semi-compact will be just fine. Now there is one more choice you can think about and it is not a double uh, chain set but a triple one which means that you would have a smallest third uh, chain ring here uh, on your uh, chain set many would say that this is not professional to uh, to mount such um, chain set triple chain set on your ro road bike but i really wouldn't care uh, i used to have uh, a triple fsa um, chain set in my Canada CAD 8 and when I went for like steep hills in Iceland and it was very very windy uh, the smallest gear would be my choice then and I, I wouldn't be able to um, keep up with, with such uh, mountains and the wind uh, on a double uh, chain, chain set even if it was uh, a compact one. So standard version for those who train a lot and train a lot in uh, uh, pelotons, in, um, in uh, big gr group rides when you can really uh, go very very fast. 
a semi-compact for somebody who is strong and uh, maybe who, who lives in a little bit more hilly terrain. A compact one for me and I think for a lot of you guys as well. And then a triple one if you want to have a wide, you know, uh, ratio of your um, gearing so that you can keep a high cadence or uh, hit any any steep hills so this is uh, what I wanted to tell you in this video if you've got more questions let me know in the comments below and see you soon in the next video bye bye